Uh, hello, kids and cadets. I'm your host here, Tim and Crunch, for another rousing rendition of Neverwinter Nights. Fun jazz. Last time I was trying to figure out what feet I was going to pick. And, uh, still don't know. <laughs> Great fortitude, improved initiative, thug, two weapon fighting. Oh, all of these sound good. So good. Maybe I should get two weapon fighting, just in case. Seems like it'd be fun. But so do uh, <laughs> I want um, everything. This is where games get really good, is when you have to make tough choices. Like two-handed fighting. Versus, like, you know, something else. Uh, also, I think now is about a good time to save our game. Actually, a good time to save our game would have been in between episodes when you didn't have to watch. Whatever. Alright, cool. Let's go play. Loading module. Oh, more cutscenes we don't get to watch. Maybe. In one brutal yeah. attack, the promise yeah. of those at the academy had been all but snuffed out. Snuffed Hope disappeared all with the water aging creatures, snuffed. and the weight of the terrible sickness pressed down on the city once more. It's too bad. Even the center chilling, went behind the ears well. The whispered to rumors deal with of it. enemies seeking to destroy Neverwinter from within had proved true. And though the identity of those responsible for the slaughter was as yet unknown. Okay. That's cool. Still a flicker of hope Seriously, yet remained. I, I don't even know what to do with had the died time in the attack with these cutscenes not from playing. The bloody carnage at the academy. I don't understand why they don't play. Step forward, ah. a champion to carry the torch in this, this darkest dark. hour. Oh, cool. That was it. That wasn't bad. Whoa. Whoa. Where did all this blood come from? Oh, f oh. Oh, oh options. Oh game options. Oh violence level. I totally forgot about that. As a kid, I always played this game with a low violence level cuz my parents are protective and shit. And they didn't oh didn't want me to Okay. See the blood. Wow, it looks really you different. Quick to answer the summons. Yes, it was. Allow I just had to walk to through a door. First to welcome you to the halls of justice. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you for welcoming me. Unlike some people, this is a death, mistake, sir. Fenthic. We know nothing about this whelp. How can you so blindly? Why trust do you have them? to call me whelp? Jeez. Meanie. Dester, please. Tim showed great promise throughout his training at the academy, and has done even more in the weeks since the attack. Have I? What did I do? Rarely has a recruit so much showed so much potential after such short training of period. If we were to have any hope of finding a cure for the, wa the wailing death, we need people like Tim in the service of Neverwinter. Um. Uh. Uh. It seems I was just drafted into this. Why should I even care? Such callous regret. Disregard for the suffering of others. Is this kind of mercenary what we want working for us, Ben Thick? There's nothing wrong with wanting to earn one's fortune in the world. I didn't say that. I just said I was felt drafted in. Rest assured, Tim, you will be rewarded for your efforts. I didn't. I didn't say that. Seriously. Please. Didn't you just. Oh, sorry. Please, Tim, you must forgive Deathster. The plague takes a heavy toll on us all, a toll made even greater in these past weeks by the attack on the Academy and the loss of the Cure. Uh, pfft. Eh, I don't care. I understand. These are troubled times. You speak with more truth than you know, Timothy Gerber. Within the Academy walls, the true horror of the Wailing Death had yet to be felt. The quarantine of Wendever Winter has done little to halt that the spread of the Wailing Death. Bonfires burn night and day as the city watches dispose of the dead. Yet the corpses are piled even higher. Is it all? Is it all we can do to contain the chaos and maintain order? 
within the various city districts, rumors run rampant, and the citizens are on the verge of panic. Rumors? <laughs> because of the plague, cannot be cured by priests or clerics of the city. Some claim it is an unnatural thing, sent by an unknown enemy bent on destroying Neverwinter. Yeah, the enemy that showed up and disrupted our research with the water avian creatures. Duh. Right? Right? The attack on the academy in these past weeks will only make things worse, Fenthic. Once people learn how Erebeth has lost the cure through her lack of faith. How? Wait, her lack of faith led to the loss of the cure? That's not, that's not what happened. Desta, I will not have you question my faith of my true love. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's got you, Desta. It's a true love. You obviously gotta believe in true love. Erebeth believed in the Academy to be safe haven. Anyway, it's not our place to even discuss such things. My Lady Erebeth is in charge, appointed by Lord Nasher himself to stop the Wailing Death. You must talk to her, Tim, as soon as possible. Uh, I... I just... I, w I wanna go. I don't care. I guess I better go talk to Erebeth if I want any kind of reward from all this. My Lady Erebeth... My Lady Erebeth waits you in the chamber beyond the north doors. There she works tirelessly to put an end to the plague that ravages Neverwinter. Go, with a blessing of tear upon you. And also... Go away. Uh, oh, also, because I want to show off this mechanic. Uh, something I haven't seen since Guild Wars 2... Er, I haven't seen since Guild Wars... I haven't seen in gaming since Neverwinter Nights and recently saw in Guild Wars 2 is uh, the ability to look at characters when you're talking to them. Look at this, look at this. My head moves. It moves when I talk at people. It's cool. It's super cool. They do it in Guild Wars 2 and it just... It was this mechanic along with the Jeremy soulness of it and... Oh, it just brought me right back here. God, it's such a cool mechanic. Why don't more games have it? It's just... It's nice. It does, it, it's... It's great. Your character highlights things with, with his face that you may not actually see yourself. It's perfect for games like this. See, look, he's he's like, ooh, oh, jeez, that guy's fucked up. Anyway, um, yeah, sorry for going on that rant. I really, really like the head moving mechanics in this game. It's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Ah, finally, a cutscene where I don't have to talk. Also, these aren't really cutscenes. Welcome to you. I regret I did not get a chance to introduce myself. Oh, it's, it's myself. fine, it's fine. We were attacked, you know. You know how it goes. It's all medieval and stuff. Eh, no one cares. I don't even care. What's your name? Lady something or other? Ah, whatever. Oh, yeah, thanks. Lady Erebeth de Tilmaran Landy. Oh, boy. I'm not even going to pronounce half of those words. Uh... I was delayed by fanfic. You can tell how it is. Wow, he has you guys been are really, really head over heels for each other. But even he it's fine. Help it's fine. I know how it is. It's, it's fine. I have been following your progress since your early training uh, at the academy. Okay. Neverwinter has need of one like you if we are to survive the Wailing Death. Yeah. Yeah, they, they really do. The attack on the academy doused the one faint spark of hope the city had. I need you to help recover that which we have lost. I serve no master but myself. You will answer only to me, <laughs> and I will give you free <laughs> reign in your tasks. Uh, whenever you talk about sexism in games, eh, sure, she's kind of, you know, scantily dressed, but Lady Erebeth's actually pretty good as far as it comes to to uh, sexism in games. She's not very, uh, she's not very stereotypical. She's actually a really well-rounded character. I like that. She's good. She's cool. Um, I guess it'll be an honor to serve I you. I could count on you. There are many rumors about the plague, but cool. if you are to aid me, thanks. In this, it is important you oh. know the truth about the way. I know you guys death. can't hear it, but people are playing their Paper Mario in the background. It's it's awesome. Ah. <sighs> Our divine healers can do nothing to oh help boy. those afflicted uh -oh. by the wailing death. And Running even out of time. Uh, Ebeth, we're gonna have to cut this conversation short. Um, 
but a short time ago, uh, I'll ask you these questions words, later. I, I was 